Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your girl, Neek, and you're tuned in to Neek at Night. And tonight, I'm going to be talking about a video where a man is trying to force a woman to get an abortion because he decided that he does not want to have a kid by her. Now, before I show you guys the video, y'all know I have to plug my business, and that is my website, www.neekatnight.com, and let you guys know that I am running a holiday sale where you can save 20% 20% off of your purchase. Okay. I mean, it excludes adult goodies, but I have so many other goodies in store for you that you can save a cute coin on over there. Now, with that being said, let me bring y'all up to speed on this video because I'm like, we are seeing what be going on when we hear these stories and hopefully this situation didn't escalate to the next level of her going to the upper room. But we see these stories constantly of these men killing these women once they find out that they have a baby on board and it's just sad and so when i seen this video and not only in the video he was trying to force her but in addition the people recording the video thinking that it was funny i'm like i have to share with you guys and get your take on it now we remember the video not too long ago that i shared with you guys it was a mom out in houston where her boyfriend basically had killed her once she had showed him proof that she was actually pregnant and we see stories like this time and time again i'm gonna give you guys a quick refresher just like real quick of this story then i'm gonna show y'all this other story where the guy was pretty much trying to force the girl to like drag her trying to get her to go abort her seed um let me press play on this spoke with Kavana Smith's family who says she had her own apartment, her own job, and a huge support system. She was fine raising that child on her own, even though he was unhappy. They're trying to understand how a pregnancy would turn into a murder. 25-year-old Kavana Smith shot to death and left on the side of the road. Her family now fighting for her killer to be put behind bars. He shot her like she was a dog. And I wouldn't even do that to a dog. Okay. And so I just wanted to give a quick recap. I shared this story on my page previous. And it just was sad. But, you know, it made me think about this story once I seen the video that I'm about to share with you guys now. So like I stated, this video is of this girl. So the girl down in the corner on the left where you see that she has on the jacket, she's crying. And the guy that's standing in front of her, he's trying to, like, pull her and tell her that she needs to get rid of the baby. Now, the volume is a little low, so I will reiterate what he says just in case you guys can't hear. But let me play it. Okay, so he says, don't grab me. We not together, bro. And as she tries to break away from him and start to try to go the other way. And then he says, I don't want this kid by you. No, no. Like, and then grabs her. Okay. And then he yells at her and tells her that she's not keeping the kid. Now, let me bring it back so that you guys can hear it and try to listen for yourself. Okay, and he had grabbed her and told her like, no, like you're about to go get rid of it or whatever as she's steadily trying to break away. And you hear the people in the background just laughing like this is a laughing matter. And this is truly a sad situation because you oftentimes see so many men with so much vitriol when these women get pregnant as if they don't know the repercussions of going in a girl raw and ejaculating. And it's disturbing and it's 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 just it's crazy, but
She put she she trying to take her to get her abortion. <laughs> and the girls thought it was funny. Um, which is like everything ain't funny. Like every situation ain't funny. And I just don't understand. Like you hear you see a lot of these debates and you see a lot of these posts where, you know, you'll see like the women who are like you know, why would you want to have a baby by a guy who doesn't want your kid? But it's like, why is a man who knows that he vehemently does not want a child ejaculating in a woman raw? Like, why are men having sex with women and they know for a fact that they don't want a kid and they're not taking the necessary precautions to prevent it? I mean... <clears throat> The math don't be math then for me. And somehow it always ends up being the blame of the woman. But at the end of the day, like people have to both take accountability in these situations. We live in an era where it's like the hookup booty call era where a lot of people are hooking up. And, you know, this is what follows. You have situations where even women who are in relationships, you know, getting pregnant and the men are trying to off them or or go to extreme measures. And it's. It's sad. It's sad. Like, I really don't even have a lot of words other than, like, it's sad. I'm going to play it one more time for y'all because I'm just like, what's funny to the people that's recording? And, like, what was, like, what was the situation to where he felt he couldn't protect himself? Like, I feel like there should definitely be more... Um, readily available methods of male birth control because these ninjas they really will just shoot up the club raw and then act surprised when a baby is the result like I just don't understand um but yeah let's bring this back one more time <sighs> And then he's like, we not together, bro. Okay, so if that's another thing that I don't get too. Like, why are men especially having raw intercourse with people that they're not together with? If you're not together with her, you don't see yourself having a kid by her, why are you fornicating and shooting up the club? It's crazy. Like, it's weird. <laughs> she put, she trying to take her to get her a <laughs> It's sad. It's sad, 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 especially when you see, like I said, women who actually lose their lives in scenarios like this, where the man tries to force the woman to get rid of the child. The woman doesn't want to do so. And then she ends up losing her life, which is why it's just, this will not be a laughing matter. And maybe they started laughing, not realizing what the altercation was. And then, you know, realize that, oh, dang, he's trying to force her to get an abortion. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's what it was. But nonetheless, it's just a sad situation that is happening. Um, you know, it's, 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 just, it's just, it's sad. It's sad, sad, sad. But I want to know what you guys think about it down below. Um, what do you think should be the measures? Is Should women pick better um, men or, or choices choices to lay down with? Because, again, this is also happening with women who get pregnant by people and even people who have been married. So it's like, you know, people who have felt like, you know, I already had a kid, I already have this many kids, I don't want more. Like, what is the solution? Should men have better control of their wankers? Should they be utilizing better methods of birth control? Or, like, or is the woman to blame like everybody always tries to blame it on the woman? You guys let me know. I don't, like I said, I don't really have much words because, like, this video has left me speechless. Um, so I'm going to let y'all do the talking down below. With that being said, um, if you guys have not subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. 
if you have not visited my website, be sure to visit my website, okay? Um, and don't forget to use the code to save you a coin as well. And I just want to thank all of you guys who um, support my channel, view my videos. It means a lot to me. And I'll see you guys on the next one, okay? And let me know some of the topics that you guys want to see me cover because it's like I was grinding so hard in November and then December came and it's like I see so much stuff on the blogs but it's like nothing is really speaking to me that I really want to cover. And it's kind of like, um, what do they say? Like, what is it like? What is like the form of writer's block for bloggers? I don't know what the form is, but um, yeah, help me out with some suggestions of what y'all think I should cover. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace.